What is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball fan manga breakdown review where today we're going to be reviewing a fan manga entitled Dragon Ball Multiverse which is a fan made manga set within an alternative timeline involving various incarnations of Dragon Ball characters set within different universes and timelines to compete in a massive multiverse tournament for the grand prize to see which universe will be the universe to gain the mightiest of the Dragon Balls. As for many years now I've been introducing and showcasing various different fan mangas created by the community for the community, so if you would like to check out all the latest and best Dragon Ball fan mangas, then make sure to check the description box and bio down below for all the latest in Dragon Ball fan mangas including Dragon Ball AF, Dragon Ball X, Beyond Dragon Ball Super, and many others, then be sure to check out all the Dragon Ball fan mangas listed down below, and if you are new to this channel and are a fan of anime and Dragon Ball, then don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. As we kick off the Dragon Ball Multiverse manga chapter number 50 special with the bondage of Kakarot and Raditz in their timeline prior to the Multiverse tournament. Now this entire chapter pretty much encompasses the relationship that Raditz has with Kakarot which explains why in the previous chapter Raditz really wanted to save Kakarot in comparison to what he wanted against Vegeta in establishing their brotherhood and being able to conquer all those opposing them in this chapter in which I'm not going to go in full detail as the overall narrative isn't really too constructive to the overall story but the overall narrative of this chapter basically encompasses the story of Raditz and his connection to his brother which is why he asked the Kaioshin for his powers so him and his brother can live off far away from Vegeta Vegeta in establishing their own freedom and reign far away from the current Saiyans that reside with them. As the main story of Dragon Ball Multiverse continues as we dive into Dragon Ball Multiverse manga chapter number 51 with the original bandits that were beat up by Videl being captured as the tournament holder goes on to ask they, they attacked you? And they have abnormal strength? Sorry, we'll send them back to our universe and investigate. As back inside the tournament arena, one of the tournament holders goes on to ask, come on, one more fight, and then it's lunch break. As the tournament holders make the announcement and claiming Go Tanks from Universe 18 versus Super Boo from Universe 4. As the Grand Kaioshin finally goes on to state very well and releases Super Boo from the vice script that he had him in this entire time. And once Super Boo is freed, he goes on to state thank you very much for taking care of me. I'll have a nice fight. As Goku looks on over at the boys, he goes on to claim he looks calm. As Piccolo looks on over to Goten and Trunks, he goes on to state, what are you waiting for? You've got to get on the ring fused. As Trunks plays dumb, he goes on to state, oh, what do I see there? As Piccolo replies, what are you playing at? As Trunks says, oh, just come on, look. As Piccolo looks on over, he looks back and immediately Gotenks is standing in front of him. As Gotenks laughs, he goes on to state, What you see is the brand new Gotenks. I've had revelations this night, and my powers got doubled by them. As Gotenks hops in the ring, Oob goes on to state revelations, just like me. This friend helped other people? As Gotenks gets in the ring, he points at Super Boo and stating, So, demon, we meet again. You think you can attack this tournament unpunished? but I'm here to stop you. As Bra gets really annoyed, she goes on to state he means gassed and the great Kaioshin are here. As Super Boo looks at Gotenks, he goes on to state so stop me then, but do you have enough power? As Super Boo begins to unleash his power, the entire tournament is taken back. People in the crowd are stating oh my god, as even Goku acknowledges this and stating what power? I haven't felt this since the fight of Vegito and Broly. As Vegito looks on very cautiously, Super Boo goes on to ask Gotenks, Are you ready? As Gotenks unleashes Super Saiyan 3, he cries out, You bet! And everyone is so surprised, so shocked at the power that these two are emitting. As Goku looks on over at Vegeta, he goes on to state he passed us, I think. Don't you think, Vegeta? I mean, it's beyond us, I think. D don't you think, Vegeta? And Vegeta's unresponsive. As Gotenks swoops on in, he goes on to fight Majin Buu. And I will say, 
The fight between Super Boo and Gotenks is really cool because this is theoretically, or technically, their second fight. So having Gotenks just swoop behind Boo, Boo catching his punch, Gotenks unleashing some pretty interesting and cool moves as finally the fight is paced back and forth. And although Gotenks seems like he has the upper hand, there was a moment where he managed to knock Super Boo back, and as soon as Gotenks is about to unleash a massive attack, they instantly separate. And that's when we see Bra over on the side as she goes on to state, and there it goes, morons. Your time is super short and at that level there. What's more is that you're exhausted, you idiots. As Trunks and Goten get wrapped up by Boo's hands, Boo is just slamming them down like a rope over and over and over again. As Goten and Trunks begin to huff and puff, Super Boo cries out, already done? Man, I'm disappointed. As Trunks and Goten go on to reply by stating this isn't over. Fusion hot! And immediately they do such a quick fusion that they instantly go back into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. At such a pace that Gotenks cries out, here he is, instant Gotenks. Fully physically and mentally fit once again. So their fusion was so quick that nobody out there was able to even see it happen. It's instant Gotenks, instant fusion, and it happened just as they separated, but Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is in fact back in the fight. However, as surprised as Goku and Vegeta are, Super Buu goes on to state, good, this is getting interesting. My turn now to show you something new. And then from Boo's body, it looks like he's materializing some sort of armor. And that's when the previous fighters that had the Ultra Armor cry out, THE ULTRA ARMOR! As one of the warrior states, don't worry, as long as he doesn't have the brain waves, he shouldn't be able to use it. As Super Boo looks on over, he goes on to state, oh yeah? That's not a problem. Ultra Wave Ball, and shoots out an energy blast at Gotenks. And as Gotenks dodges this, he goes on to tell Super Boo, is this a joke? Your own attacks are stronger than this, Boo, come on, and instantly deflects them. As Gotenks cries out, instead, have a taste of my Ultra Gotenks Ball, and fires one back at Super Boo. So it's basically a Key Blast struggle here. We see Boo shooting out Key Blasts, Gotenks is shooting out Key Blasts, and they're unleashing such a powerful shockwave that it's literally tearing the entire arena apart. As we see a massive explosion occur, Gotenks stands in the middle as he laughs by stating, HA! Boo is defeated! As we look on down, Super Boo goes on to reply to Gotenks in stating, Defeated? I was just testing the barrier. Why don't you eat this instead? As he shoots out so many pieces of glass directly at Gotenks, Gotenks is trying to avoid every possible outcome he can from having the glass cut his body as one of the soldiers at the tournament arena goes on to state, Boo is using the armor without care. He'll soon be out of energy. Which, coincidentally enough, once Super Boo had done this, he ran out of energy. As one of the soldiers cries out, oh, just when you said it. As Gotenks swoops in at the moment of opportunity and stating this is your end. The 100,000 vengeful fists in unleashing so many punches at Super Boo that it not only breaks Super Boo's ultra armor, but it also shatters Super Boo's body as well. Hundreds of thousands of vengeful punches connect, as Super Boo stumbles on back, he goes on to state a presence. As Gotenks looks down, he notices Carbonite on his actual hand, the same Carbonite that we learned about many many chapters ago. As one of the warriors goes on to state, it must be destroyed immediately. As Gotenks panics not knowing what to do, Gotenks cries out, are you kidding? What about my arm? It's done for, ah, I don't know what to do. And Gotenks is trying his best to quickly figure out a way how to destroy the Carbonite. As Super Boo reemerges, he goes on to laugh at Gotenks in stating, haha, if only you can see yourself now, as they instantly defuse. And upon defusing, Super Boo capitalizes on this by punching them square in the face, as Super Boo claims, except that you are much too weak when separated. In taking advantage of them both by beating them down, the tournament holders go on to make the claim, Boo of Universe 4 wins. 
as Superboost says, Gotenks is very powerful but isn't serious at all, and these two suck, no point in making this last. As the Grand Kaioshin, immediately upon the tournament holders having to declare Boo the winner, uses the magic to revert Boo back into a giant gook ball as we see Super Boo having to be put in his place once more as Grand Kaioshin cries out, what an actor! And that's when Super Boo's like, please don't mock me, as the Grand Kaioshin continues in crying out, lunch break, as we see everybody having to feast once more, Goten and Trunks having to be all beat up while Bra says, my glass is empty, slaves, turning Goten tanks and trunks into basically her servants, and we see how as everyone is eating, Prince Vegeta goes on to state where are these imbeciles, referencing Raditz, Kakarot, and of course Nappa, as one of the Frieza Force members enters one of Frieza's ship in stating the meal is served in the arena, are you coming? But something seems very off about the Ginyu Force, as they claim, yeah, sure. And for the first time in Dragon Ball Multiverse, we bear witness to Beerus and Whis, and it looks like they're playing the roles of spectators. As Whis goes on to ask Beerus, so, what are we doing here, Beerus Sama? As Beerus says, I've won a contest to be in the public. As Beerus looks on over next to him, he goes on to state, Have you heard of the Super Saiyan God? As the audience member says, uh, No, sorry. As Beerus once more asks other people, Hey, have you heard of the Super Saiyan God? As the audience member says no, with Whis having to tell Beerus, haven't you asked one of the Vargas to make an announcement? As Beerus replies, I couldn't stop myself from catching and eating him, well, whatever, let's go home. So the only reason why Beerus is here is because of the Super Saiyan God legend, implying that this takes place before the initial events of Battle of Gods. And what's funny here is we see Vegito eat so much that an hour of orgy later, Vegito becomes fat. And Vegito's on the floor, he goes on to state, I've eaten too much. As Trunks laughs at him, he goes on to state, he's about to explode like Cell. As the tournament holders goes on to claim, we're about to return with King Cold from Universe 8 versus Sun Bra from Universe 16. As Bra looks on over to Piccolo, she goes on to state, Piccolo, I'd like to change into a light outfit, please. As Piccolo changes this, Trunks goes on to state, why are you changing outfits? Do you think this will be difficult? As Pan says, well, you're dreaming. The gravity is more dangerous than this mosquito. So that's all. This fight is too easy. As King Cold looks down at Bra, he goes on to state, oh, you are quite sure of yourself. I'm quite stronger than my children, and this will not be so simple. As Bra states, oh, yes, it will be very simple. As King Cold replies, you are confident of your Super Saiyan, but without that transformation, none of you could have defeated us. As Bra replies, you're really ignorant, aren't you? You're outclassed a thousand times. I don't need Super Saiyan, or even my hands or feet. I could squash you with my breath. But, you'll see in a few seconds, you'll see. As King Cold smiles, he goes on to state, So, you allow me to propose you a handicap? One that is official with the organizers? As Gohan says, don't accept it, brah. Don't forget that you promised to make your wish for Universe 19. As King Cold states, well, let's just ban your transformation then. If you turn Super Saiyan during our fight, you lose immediately. As Bra says, you call that a handicap? My pinky, untransformed, can beat you. As King Cold says, well, so it has been decided and official. You heard? If her hair becomes yellow, she loses. As Bra agrees, she steps on over as she goes on to state, you don't seem to have understood, demon. I'm not just a simple Saiyan, I am much more. As King Cold rises from the ground, he goes on to state, I haven't even touched the ring, so the fight hasn't started, but I do have a surprise for you. As King Cold begins to transform, he becomes bigger and bigger, his armor shattering. As Cooler looks on out, Cooler states, father has also found a secret form? As then we see finally King Cold transform, and he's huge. As Bra looks up, she doesn't seem to be worried, as she says, Ah, I knew he was hiding something. Now he has a small chance. As King Cold once more looks down, he smiles, menacingly, transforming even more. 
a second augmentation form. So King Cold has transformed twice, raising his battle power to unimaginable heights. As Piccolo states, I never imagined a member of his family could reach such a level. As Goku even says, it was 30 years ago that we faced them. I don't think Cold was that good at the time, like Frieza being able to stay in his normal form now, he must have trained. As Piccolo states, well, he succeeded, and a lot. His level's close to perfect cell. As Gohan cries out, it's too risky! Cancel the bet now! As Bra looks up, she goes on to state, oh, well, on the contrary, now it's good training as the manga chapter comes to a close. So Bra may have bitten off a bit more than she can chew, as King Cold now has raised his battle power so high that Bra does feel confident in her abilities that she could defeat him, but everyone else is very unsure. And if you guys haven't noticed already, some of the actual members of this overall tournament are acting very fishy. And this could be as an end result of Bobbity trying to control everybody and using them as puppets for his own personal gain. I really enjoyed how Beerus was there alongside with Whis asking about the Super Saiyan God because it adds more depth and lore to the overall story. But as of right now, we do come to the understanding that something is going on involving certain fighters in which now Bra is faced with a very powerful opponent without having to use Super Saiyan because if she does, she's automatically going to lose. So I really did enjoy this manga chapter, and if you guys have as well, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and of course love Dragon Ball, slap a like down below. If you are of course new to this channel and of course enjoy Dragon Ball and anime alongside gaming, then make sure you guys slap that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, check out the previous Dragon Ball fan mangas below. This was one of my favorite manga chapters just because it displayed a different level than how we've seen previous with certain characters, and I cannot wait to see the overall progression as to what's going to happen later on so let me know what you all think thank you all so much for watching guys once more and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below have a great day everybody peace this is the galactic emperor of the universe and of course i'm here to tell you to subscribe to unrelent gaming and all his social media platforms also don't forget to turn on notifications so you can be the first to know every time that he uploads a new video oh did someone say unrelent gaming oh my god the fuck's up on put on some clothes well why don't you put on any clothes what i don't need clothes but, uh, jesus christ that's huge <laughs>